Hey everyone, we're going to take an in-depth look at some GAS trace logs. I'm just going to show you what we're going to be syncing in our Active Directory. I'm going to be syncing a contact, a user, and a group. And I'm just going to open up my GADS XML file, and I've already created it, but just so that you can see, we're syncing users, that's my user sync rule, we're syncing groups, rule right there, and shared contacts with all the attributes for the shared contacts. And my logging, I'm just going to change the log file, and I'm going to set the log level to trace mode, and that's very important. Clear cache and sync. Um, just so that you know, you can also run a simulation, and it'll create the same... Uh, trace log files, which is a useful feature of GADS. And here's my summary page. And as you can see, it wants to create a new user. And it also wants to modify a couple of my groups and add a new group and add some users to those groups. And then it wants to create a shared contact. So here's the GADS log file. And I know it looks messy, but it's actually very simple. You can see my version number right there. And you can also see that it's going to clear cache like we told it to. And then it just moves to the first search rule, which is object class equal user. And you can see that search rule right there in the GADS XML file. And there it is, object class equals user. And it just moves in order from the top down. So next it's going to just look for these attributes, mail, SN, given name, object GUID, and proxy addresses and we set those attribute values in Active Directory right here, given name and proxy addresses. And then it's just going to search your base DN, which is for us, GADS equals users, DC equals atlas log, DC equals com, and you set that base DN right there. And now it's going to search through LDAP and it's going to process the results and it's going to then dump the results and it'll label that with an LDAP tag and there's my first result CN equals David G and there is CN equals David G and then it's going to find the attribute values for the attributes that I was looking for so the male attributes going to be David at Atlas hugged and etc and so as you can see it's very straightforward and then it's going to do that for any other user objects that it finds within that rule and then it will tell you that it found four users. And then it's just going to move on to the next rule, which is object class equals group. And it's going to look for member, male, and owner attributes. And it's going to do the same exact thing. It will just dump the LDAP results. There's my first group. And then it will dump the members of that group. And here are the members in Active Directory of the GADS test group. And we'll just dump any more groups that it finds. And we'll give you a nice little summary right there. And then I'll move on to our next rule, which is object class equals contact. And we'll look for those contact attributes, which are right here. Street address, department, mail, company, etc. And so as you can see, it's very simple. Just looking for those address, th for those attribute values. Then we'll dump the results. Again, CN equals GADS contact is the first result. And there's the values that it finds for it. And then once it finds all those values, it's going to sync up to Google Apps and it's going to process any r users uh, and groups and objects and any data really that it finds in, in Google Apps. You can see that it's processing users and then it retrieves users and it's going to retrieve their nicknames. Then it's going to retrieve all the groups in the, in the domain, then all the group members, then all the shared contacts. And now GADS is just going to simply match up the information that it found in LDAP with the information that it found in Google Apps. And as you can see, that's what it's doing right there. And then it's just going to sync and apply the changes and give you a nice little summary, which is exactly what you see right here. It wants to create the user, the groups, and everything. So everything worked. Thanks for watching.